Hello, and thank you so much for joining us for this webcast entitled How to Search for Contracts. The first step in purchasing from contracts in Combis is to locate and read the Contract User Guide. This guide includes all the information needed to understand how each contract works and how to order items from the contract. You can find contracts in the Combi's Market Center. To access Combi's, enter www.combi's.com in your browser. Displayed here is the landing page for the Combi's Market Center. You do not have to be logged in to navigate the system. However, you will be required to register as a buyer in order to purchase from contracts. Today we are going to search for contracts using the contract number, an item, and a vendor name. First, we will do so in the public view without logging in. In our first example, we will search for the road salt contract VEH95. We begin our search for a contract number by clicking on the Contract and Bid Search hyperlink located in the Browse by Category box on the lower left side of the Combi's landing page. The Advanced Search screen displays. We will select the radio button for Contracts Blankets. The Advanced Search screen automatically enlarges to display several search fields. Since we know the alphanumeric contract number of the contract we are seeking, we enter VEH95 into the Contract Blanket Description field and click on the Find It button. After clicking the Find It button, the search results display. In this example, we see that the VEH95 contract has four vendors, and each vendor has its own Master Blanket Purchase Order, or MBPO, in the Contract Blankets column. We can also see the related bid number, description, vendor name, type code, which in this example is SW for Statewide Contract, and the beginning and end dates for the contracts. Let's search for the vendor Morton Salt. The Master Blanket Purchase Order for Morton Salt is highlighted. We click on the MBPO hyperlink in the Contract Blankets column to open the Morton contract and view the details. The MBPO screen displays header information for the contract. This contract has several attachments. The attachments are hyperlinks and may be clicked to open each document. Included in this example are hyperlinks for pricing and the contract user guide for contract VEH95. We will click on the contract user guide hyperlink to access contract details. This is the initial page of the contract user guide for VEH95. In the header box, we can view the contract duration period, renewal options, the contract manager name, phone number, and email address, programs contained in the contract, the UNSPSC commodity code, and the last change date. Although each contract has different contents, the section of each contract user guide are similar. In our next example, if we do not know the contract number VEH95, we can search for the item Road Salt. By entering the item in the Item Description field, we can search for the contract. In this example, we have entered Road Salt as the item description. As before, we click on the Find It button to view the MBPOs and the vendors. The item search displays the same results as the contract number search. 
we have the same four vendors as before. We can choose any vendor by clicking on the hyperlinked MBPO in the Contract Blankets column. Doing so will open the MBPO screen and display the attachments as we saw earlier in the Search by Contract Number example. In our next example, we can search for a vendor by name. Let's search for a road salt vendor. In this example, we can select one of the four known vendors, Eastern Salt. Enter it in the Vendor Name field, then click on the Find It button. Once again, the vendor search displays the same results as the contract search and the item search. We have the same four vendors as before. We choose Eastern Salt by clicking on their hyperlinked MBPO in the Contract Blankets column. Doing so will open the MBPO screen and display the attachments for their MBPO. Searching for contracts can also be done while logged in to the Combi system. Let's look at how we can do this. From the main menu, we go to the search field at the top center of the screen. Next to the magnifying glass icon is a down arrow. Clicking this arrow displays a search menu. We select Contract Blankets from the drop-down search menu, then enter the contract number VEH95 in the search field and click on the magnifying glass icon to process the search. The results display as we have already seen when searching from the public view. To search for items while logged in, we select Catalog from the drop-down menu. Then we enter the item Road Salt in the search field and click on the magnifying glass icon. When logged in, an item search in Combis brings us directly to a page that allows us to order if we are ready to do so. Searching for vendors while logged in can be accomplished by selecting Vendors from the drop-down menu. Then we enter the vendor name in the search field. In this example, we are searching for Granite State Minerals. We click on the magnifying glass to process. The search results for Granite State Minerals display. Clicking on the hyperlink in the Vendor ID column will display additional information about the vendor. General information about the vendor displays. Other vendor information can be accessed by clicking on each of the tabs across the top of the screen. Sometimes, when searching in Combis, we may encounter a conversion vendor. The term conversion vendor indicates that the contract has been set up in the distributor model. This means that the contract has been constructed as a single MBPO, but contains multiple statewide contract vendors who distribute the goods or services contained in the contract. When results display for a conversion vendor, clicking on the MBPO in the Contract Blankets column allows us to view the distributors on this contract. In this example, we will look at Category 1 of the FAC-92 Pest Control contract. As before, we can see the contract header information including the attachments. If we scroll down further on the page, we can also see a list of distributors. Clicking on a vendor ID provides additional vendor information. If you have questions or comments, additional resources are available to you. In this webcast, we have looked at searching for contracts by contract number, item, and vendor. 
both from the public view and while logged in. We have also looked at searching conversion vendors. Thank you for attending this webcast. This concludes the How to Search for Contracts webcast.